Former President Park Geun-hye will be indicted today on bribery and other charges related to the scandal centered on her longtime confidant Choi Soon-sil, which ultimately led to her impeachment and arrest. And as our Hwang Ho-jun tells us, with Park's indictment, prosecutors are aiming to wrap up their probe into the massive corruption scandal. The probe into the corruption and power abuse scandal that has gripped Korea since last October will finally come to an end on Monday. Prosecutors are set to put ousted President Park Geun-hye on trial on charges including bribery, abuse of power, coercion and leaking government secrets. Ever since Park's impeachment motion was upheld last month, the former president has been the prosecution's main target. She underwent a marathon 21-hour interrogation last month and was arrested soon after. Since her arrest, Prosecutors have questioned Park five more times inside the Seoul Detention Center, where she has been held since her arrest. Park is being accused of colluding with her confidant Choi Soon Sil to extort bribes worth more than 70 million U.S. dollars from local conglomerates and, in particular, from Samsung. Park denies all the charges, saying she's the victim of a conspiracy and did not know about Choi's alleged activities. Prosecutors have expanded the bribery probe to Lutte Group and SK Group as well, summoning high-ranking officials from the conglomerates, including each of their chairmen. The results of those interrogations will likely be announced once prosecutors file charges against Park. Meanwhile, the former senior presidential secretary for civil affairs, Wu byung -woo, is expected to be indicted along with his old boss for allegedly aiding and abetting Choi soon -sil in meddling in state affairs and amassing profits using her ties to Park. The prosecution has been seeking his arrest, but the Seoul Central District Court refused to issue a warrant last week. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.